A few months ago, we geared 15 of the best boat racers in the world by making them go for an insanely competitive qualifying. And today, they will all race here, Boat Park Raceway. Originally from another boat racing competition called PRWC, who we collab with in order to bring this track into off-season. Boat Park Raceway features a lot of fast and tricky corners throughout its three sectors and it's definitely one of the hardest tracks on the calendar. Its DRS zones are also some of the fastest, especially that first one. The key turns are the turns 1 through 3 complex and the stadium section turns 14 to 17. Maintaining speed and momentum is very important on this track, but you need the space to do so. Strategy is going to be the key for the victory today. All the drivers need to complete two pit stops and 21 laps in order to be able to finish the track properly. Today we have a driver on the grid who already dominated the last races that were held on Boat Park. Of course, we are talking about Laser Sloth. And once again, after qualifying, he got pole position with Tohi on the side. These two have a history of duking it out here. In third place, we have Tohi's new rival Renokas. Joining him is Team Storm's insanely quick rookie, Sir Feeder Kid. Following those two we have Julian Kuhl, who actually made it to the race today. And hopefully not so salty Ozo. The last short of the racing driver, Sam H3X, joins us and the master of race stars Gustav joins him in the fourth row. Hopefully not disconnecting this time around, we got Bosch in ninth, with a surprising rookie Mabro following closely. In eleventh place we have the mute stinky socks and the creator of this track, Paul Bickler, who had a tough quality session. Hopefully he isn't too angry about that. Our final free spot starts with Servius who had a very close quality time to the Duke of Leg Blue Leader. Hopefully his internet is better today. And topping off our list is Crispy, who will be filling in for priority, who couldn't make it here today. And with everybody in our assigned slots, we started. In 3, 2, 1, and they're off! Laser and Toki get a great start! Who got out in front at turn 1? Oh, it seems that it will be Laser of Toki and Ranaka is following closely behind. Toki takes a little bit too much curb there, will Ranaka shoot past? Oh, that doesn't seem to be the case. Oh, it seems that Gustav, Blue Leader, Stinky and Sam have all had great starts. I wonder what happened with Sir Fiederkid though. Same here. Let's quickly check it out in a replay. I don't think this is a bad strategy call after all. Let's check some of the other starts. I wonder what happened. Here we see Gustav and he just goes straight down the middle of all of those drivers. It seems that his CGP start wasn't only a stroke of luck after all. A very solid start. The starts are great, but it seems like following is lacking a little since he gets bumped and overtaking right afterwards. And it seems like Mabro got completely screwed over at the start. Poor guy. Honestly, luck isn't really on his side now, is it? A Minecraft load, come on. Well, now we have Toki heading into the pits with Stinky right in front, probably defending himself from strategy choices by Squadra Stressante. Here we see him getting into the box. Wait, what is this? Toki has overtaken Stinky in the pits by doing a faster pit stop than his opponent? Well, well, <laughs> that's probably not what Toki had in mind, but hey, if it works, it works. 
They have actual strats because Toki bit them because they knew that service is coming out of that thing. Oh god. It seems like Sunk Racing was trying to get in the way of Renocast by placing Servius in front of him. And they have succeeded indeed. Now Renocast has to move through traffic. Please tell me that I overtook Servius. Please. Oh yeah, I took it. Overtook it. Project P seems to be initiating the strategy over here, with Mabro and Crispy going for the double stack in the pit lane. Last time they attempted something like this and ended up in an absolute catastrophe and a massive time loss for the drivers involved. Perhaps they have sorted things out this time round. Renekos and Sir Friedekin are throwing it out here on the first sector, with Sir Friedekin going a bit wide on the exit of turn 5, which might give Renekos a chance to overtake after the section. Now here we can see a perfect example of why we're using particles to determine the boat's positioning. Because even though Renoka seems to be in front, Serfidikit's particles can be seen ahead of him, which means he hasn't completed the overtake yet. Very good catch there, Alessandro, but it seems now he has! What a move from Gustav! If he keeps it up, he can win this race! No. The shit wavy, why is it not good? Okay, calm down, Paul, but nah. I'm close enough for a pass if you guys want. I need specifically Ma, bro. Want to pass? Uh, that would be awesome. Okay, I'll go slow. Nice. Thank you. So Project P is focusing on Laser and trying to not get in his way as well as getting in the way of his competitors so he, he can clinch the win for the team. Very well done by them. No, no, bruh, I played it too risky and oh god. It seems Radical is getting impatient. Maybe they should change up their strategy to get past Laser? I mean, as mentioned before, Project P's strategy is to get in the way of the racers that could hinder Laser's race, so he can get in front of them after the pit stops. Sam has like a train, a long ass train, oh my god. Crispy is here, Toki is here, Laser is here, Blue is here, Mabro is here, Yo, Bunch is here. Yeah, I see that. I think I'm gonna bet. Oh, Laser's behind me, I see. Would be a shame if someone started blocking him. <laughs> Bruh. Toki behind another Project P member. It seems that Project P is specifically targeting the other top contenders, so Togi and Renokas are getting both blocked quite heavily. Ah! So goddamn slow. Oh, my bro, just let me best. Listen, these races can get really stressful and tough for our drivers. Take a look at Servius right here. He's about to pit in the wrong pit. 
because he's just so stressed, you know? But you can help him. By liking this video and subscribing, you can help drivers like Servius. So please do. Also hit the bell. And like all the other videos. He's fucking I hate this. Uh, I hate his driving. I don't hate him. But because of this guy, this guy, I lose now three positions. Three. I gained three positions. And then comes this guy and destroys everything. Ah, and letting the other people spy. Ah, okay, okay, yeah, that's how we go. Letting Udi buy, what's that? I know he's in the same team, but letting buy, really? Will I let him buy? Hmm, it seems that Team Storm has picked up the same strategy as Project P and is now using it against them. You think they are gonna try and get Sorfiri on a podium like this? Maybe. There might be too much space between drivers though as of now. Blue Leader though is defending for dear life at this moment, so how long can he keep this up? The shit VEV, uh, Wi-Fi, why is it going now, when I the do touch touch it's going? <laughs> wow, That's but now it's not going before, I don't know how, how this fucking shit is going, why this, no, I think this hate me, but I'm getting angry, the whole day, the whole day it's going perfect, but only in a, in 10, 10, 10 mil of the hour is 10 minutes it doesn't go and fuck up myself. I got 12, wow, yeah, congrats this time. Why this? No, I think they hate me, but I'm getting angry. I got 12, wow, yeah. Shit, me. Why is it going now? The video is going perfect. Why is it going now? I hate this. It's enough. Paul? Whoa, Renekas not only makes it past Sogi, but he is also immediately going for a pit. He might go for the undercut since he has nothing to lose here. Laser responds right away! Let's see if he's still in front after this. With the undercut not mattering, Laser is going straight for the finish line. He is still a dominating force on this track and will keep his 100% win rate on both Park Raceway. What an impressive drive! Definitely a great result for Laser and the team after a lackluster performance in CGP. Great work by them, congratulations! Let's go! Let's go! Woo! I did it! I beat most of the cool people!
it seems that BRWC FC1 champion Lazer Slov has returned. Yep, indeed. Almost half a lap ahead of everyone. How, how did you do it? Yeah. Um, well, I would like to say that I was very, very um, conservative with my pits. Um, I might have also actually been a bit too conservative this time. Um, the strategy that my team had actually is we found the turn that people would be on when you enter the pit. Um, so that when you enter the pit, the people on that turn would basically be like in front of you when you exit the pit. Um, I think that was very good for pit strategy um, and it led me making better pit decisions. Um, otherwise though, um, overtaking was huge. Um, I think a lot of people, uh, this is a very difficult track, obviously. Um, it's really hard to be consistent on it as well, especially when there's a bunch of people on the server, you know, you might have less FPS, etc. So, um, I think that um, overtaking, there's a lot more opportunities because people mess up more, and um, I think I capitalized them on them really well. Um, on top of that, I also made sure that um, I kept Renekis and Toki behind me, and um, I also had my teammates strategically um, let me pass when it was a good time. I'm sad. Okay, you're sad. Why is that? Third place is still pretty good, right? No, I, I, so much practice and I still third place. So, um, yeah. at the end of the day, this still uh, puts you in a top three on the individual championship. Where, where, what are you aiming for at the end of the season? Uh, top individuals. Number one? Yes. Think you can do it? Uh, I don't know anymore. Is, do you think these, well, consecutive third places, is it a, um, well, a is real... It enough? Hmm? I don't think, I don't think if I get third place every single race, I don't think that's enough, unfortunately. Okay. And, and what do you, what do you think about it? Because, um, well, you're having a little bit of a rivalry with Renacals, and he just mm -hmm. keeps beating you by just a little bit. Have you ever time trialed? Uh, there's a guy called Makusen. Yeah, I mean, everyone knows Makusen. Yep. Uh, I, 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 I can't say that the same feeling when Makusen beats your time in 15 minutes. I, I, Renaka has put a lot of work into grinding this track. Um, your entire team left you. Uh, why was yes. this? Well, Paul rage quitted like a 12-year-old and Stinky keyboard something. 